Hi, it's Kim Weber with the Kim B. Gourmet. Today we're making teriyaki turkey lettuce wraps with the sweet chili dipping sauce. And here they go. These are really good for the low carb person who doesn't want to have any bread with their sandwich today. So that's what they're for. They're for when I feel like that. And You can see I was using a mini romaine leaf and I put another one on top. If you use a, another kind of lettuce, you can be able to wrap around it. That's what I did there. I, just made, I made it work. So just use whatever kind of lettuce you want to use or you can find. For as many wraps as you plan to make, you need to do your garnish. and. What you want to do is cut one four inch, quarter inch wide strip of English cucumber for each of the wraps you're going to make. You need to chop scallions. That's to taste. I used two scallions for four wraps and I didn't need them, but I had them. Um, you need to have a shaker type container of sesame seeds ready. I get some already roasted ones at the Asian grocery store. When the garnish prep is completed, you're ready to begin the main four steps. The four steps are fry and season the ground turkey. You're going to mix the peanut butter sauce, which goes on the slaw. You're going to toss the slaw with the sauce, and then you're going to assemble the wrap. To begin, step one, fry the ground turkey. And turkey's pretty dry, so you're gonna need to put in about, I don't know, a little couple of squirts of oil. You're gonna add some garlic and ginger to cold oil, and you're gonna fry that gently. You don't wanna get much color on it at all. Just wanna get it a little, little put it a little bit in there to infuse in the oil. And I use the ginger and garlic in the tube. It's going to go for two to three minutes over medium high heat. And you want to stir it during that time. And just add the ground turkey now. And we got turkey burgers, because that's what was available at the store. Get And they were um, white meat turkey burgers, but if you get um, the mixed meat, it'll, you'll have a little more fat in it. We had four burgers, we had a bit of pound. And you want to add your seasonings and add-ins. Your soy sauce is first. And then and I added about two teaspoons of soy sauce to begin with. Then I added red pepper flakes to taste and I literally just put a small dusting and they're probably half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes in there. I just dusted those over the ground meat. I added some pineapple juice and pineapple rings that were left over from our upside down cake in a mug episode. We didn't have a whole can, we had part of a can and we added the juice to it. I put the rings around it and then I started to cut them up a little bit and I started out using a sharp edged 
bachelor because that's what I would have done previous to what happens next. <laughs> yeah, we had a better tool. <laughs> so this is a some kind of KitchenAid rocking knife, utility knife. And let me tell you something, that is sharp. Okay, so we're gonna add some sweet soy sauce. And I bought sweet soy sauce when I thought I was buying something else at the Asian grocery store. But it's really great for dipping sauces and it's, it's really thick. And so I kind of drizzled that over the whole thing and it added a really good teriyaki flavor with the pineapple juice and the pineapples that we're gonna be in it. And then I mix that in pretty good. And now we're going to do the peanut butter sauce. And this was the first time I'd ever really tried to make a peanut butter sauce. I read the instructions and they seemed pretty easy. So I did it. I put in about a cup of all natural peanut butter. No, nothing added. No added sugars or anything like that. It was pretty thick and I added a little bit of walnut oil and when I say a little bit I mean I probably added maybe two teaspoons of walnut oil into there and what I was looking for was a consistency of a, a dressing like like you know you would have a salad dressing and I probably got it a little too thick but it like I like the way it tasted I added some of the sweet soy sauce. If you don't have that, you can add a little bit of regular soy sauce and about a teaspoon of brown sugar. That's a good substitution. So anyway, I just added a little drizzle of that around the measuring cup and stirred it, mixed it in. I added some toasted sesame seed oil and that's the kind you're not supposed to cook with. You're just supposed to flavor things with. So I just added a little bit. And at that point, I tasted it. And it tasted pretty good. So now it's time to toss it with the, with the cabbage. And I used a slaw mix that I picked up at Trader Joe's. They'll have this at any regular grocery store. You can. I like this one because of those long um, cabbage leaves. As you can see, it's pretty thick. And you can do that to, to your own taste. I liked the thick, the thick dressing. And I also knew that I wanted to keep it in the refrigerator for a couple of days, what I didn't, what I had left over, what I didn't use. And I, continued to add a little bit to it to get it to taste like I wanted it to and I added a lime and this was a really big lime. I retrieved the teriyaki mix from the skillet and I brought it over to assemble the wraps. Now I used several layers of foil and I made myself a little wrap that was very similar to the one I'd seen at a restaurant where I got lettuce wraps and I was real proud of that. I, I used some sweet chili sauce that I, that I found. I found my bottle at Trader Joe's. They sell it everywhere now and I understand it's going to be the new ketchup but you be the judge. Into that, I added just a couple of drops of the toasted sesame seed oil, and I mean just a couple of drops, not enough to even really change the flavor much, just give you a little something in the background. So then, what I did, I had all the little lettuce 
leaves out. I dropped in a little scoop of the teriyaki turkey. I put the turkey in there and I filled them up about what I thought I needed to fill them up for that size lettuce. And then I kind of had to do some adjusting. <laughs> you might too. That last one I really thought that was the one I was going to eat, so I really filled it up. These are pretty much, we're topping them off a little bit. And that's good. We added the slaw. And this is, you'll see one of the reasons why I kept it kind of a stiffer slaw. I didn't want it to be too messy in the wrap. So that's one of the reasons. But you, you can, you be the judge of that. You can add more oil, you can add olive oil instead of the, t you know, any kind of oil instead of the walnut oil. You can add um, canola oil, whatever you like, and whatever you have. And then I added the garnishes, added those four inch, quarter inch English cucumber slices. That's what they are. And then I garnished with some scallions and some sesame seeds. I put, I put a little bit, instead of a dipping sauce, I thought I'd like to have it be all on the, the meat. So I put a little bit of the sweet chili sauce on there. I topped it with another lettuce leaf. Those baby romaines didn't quite cover it, so I did that and it was really good really tasty. We think you should like and subscribe. And as Warren Zevon said, enjoy every sandwich. Just be true And all that sweet stuff Comes back to you Be the apple of somebody's eye